we're the Watsons. Hey there. We're registered nurses. We've been nursing now for about 17 years, mm -hmm. and we're here to talk about Emma Big. Yeah, so we're going to give a, a little rundown of the medication, do's and don'ts, and then we're going to show how to administer it. Because it ain't as easy as it looks. So Jody has chronic migraine. Uh, she's failed Botox. I'm a failure. And now her neurologist has sent Emavig for her to try. Yep, and I got two injectors in the mail for me for a two-month supply. You might get two injectors in the mail for you for a one-month supply. So be sure to check your prescription to find out uh, for sure what is right for you. So regardless if you have a two-month or a one-month supply, be sure it goes straight to the refrigerator, not the freezer. Yes, and when you're ready to inject, you're going to take your medication out of the refrigerator, put it on the counter, away from the sun. Where the sun don't shine. <laughs> and the point is to get it to room temperature. It takes about 30 minutes. Okay, so uh, will you tell me a little bit about all these needles you got hanging out there? Absolutely. So the first question that people usually have whenever they see uh, this auto injector is how big is the needle? Uh, that's a good question because if you look at this whole encasement, it looks like it could be hiding a huge uh, needle, but that's not the case. Uh, it actually is holding a 27 gauge needle, half inch long. Uh, and yeah, right, what is a 27 gauge needle? How big is that? Well, we've got an 18 gauge needle here uh, to illustrate the difference. Now, this is if you're in a car accident, you're taken to an emergency room, this is the size they're likely going to jab into your arm. And so I'm going to get my beautiful assistant to hold that up right there. And then this is a 29 gauge insulin needle. This is for daily injections of insulin. And it's a lot smaller, as you can tell. Let's compare those. Um, and so visually, you can't see a big difference, but physically, you can feel a big difference. And so this is about the same size as that. Not very painful. I'll see. So the box came with all these here instructions and I'm just kind of like wondering what in the world are we supposed to do with all of this stuff oh, here. I think what we're going to do with that. we got a perfect place. <laughs> <laughs> so never mind the destructions. Let's get started with the actual procedure. But wait, if you have any questions, you can call Emma Big at 1-800-772-6436. All right, so something you need to know before we begin the injection is where to inject. So for a subcutaneous injection, uh, there are typically three spots that we want to look for. Uh, the first of which is behind the arm here. So subcutaneous is adipose tissue or fat tissue, not in the muscle. So this is an area that's typically uh, has, has a good amount of that right in there. The next spot that we want to look at for a potential injection site is the abdomen right here. Uh, typically most of us carry a good bit of adipose in this area. Uh, my wife has had a small bowel obstruction so she's kind of limited right now on that. But uh, So we'll look at the next site which is the thigh. Uh, on the thigh most times you can squeeze up a good amount of fat uh, adipose tissue there. Uh, to be able to inject and I think that's what we'll do. So let's actually look at the procedure now. Okay, so now it's time for the injection. Uh, we've chosen uh, the thigh area, Jody's thigh. She has a bit more adipose there. Thanks. So ignore my unshaven legs. So when we find our site, uh, we want to squeeze up a good bit of adipose tissue, adipose tissue, make sure there's not a blood vessel that's seen below the skin. Uh, and then we want to clean it off with an alcohol pad to clean the area. I want to let that area dry. Don't blow on it. You don't want to blow any cooties onto the area. Cooties, that's a professional medical term. Uh, and then you want to remove this white needle guard. And so now you have the, the needle ready to go. You place, once the alcohol is dry, you place the needle tip against the skin and you look at the window uh, and you'll watch the uh, medication inject. So we're going to press the trigger. Three, two, one, press. Still recording. So 
There's the yellow bar. There's the yellow bar. Means the injection is complete. All right. Now we stick a little band-aid on there for any. I want the pretty yellow one. I hope you get red. Whew. Okay, so that was not as easy as I thought it was going to be. And so these are some things that uh, I wish I had known. So this white tip comes off first. Um, you think that the needle is in there, but it's not. It's actually in here. And this safety release doesn't come out until after you press it against your skin, wherever you give it to yourself. So it's actually going to be pressed on your skin. You press the purple button. You can press this purple button as many times as you want to and it's not going to release that safety until it's also pressed at the same time. Both of them have to be pressed at the same time for the needle to come out and for the medicine to inject. And then this yellow bar slowly rolls down until all the medicine is in your system. Mm -hmm. Something that was a surprise to me as well is the amount of pressure it took to actually get the safety down. You have to take it uh, against the skin and push pretty hard. Not on your hand. <laughs> at the same time while uh, pressing that injector button. Um, the fluid also takes, the medication takes uh, up to 15 seconds, four seconds to 15 seconds, which I wasn't expecting. I thought it was going to be a little faster than that. Um, and I felt it once it was in my system. I could kind of feel it in my throat. I kind of got a warm, flushed feeling from it. Um, I wasn't feeling real great for probably the first, you know, 15 minutes afterwards. So I just kind of rested and my leg is a little sore. So um, now I know what to expect next month whenever I get the medication. But I'm very, very hopeful that this will work in conjunction with everything else. And maybe I'll get to work more often and have a better quality of life. And that's what we have to say about Amavig. And Amavig, you are welcome that you have two registered nurses, two seasoned registered nurses giving you a plug. Absolutely. We hope you found the video helpful. Thank you. Bye. Bye.